Gleason Grading System, Wikipedia Audio The Gleason Grading System is used to help evaluate the prognosis of men with prostate cancer using samples from a prostate biopsy. Together with other parameters, it is incorporated into a strategy of prostate cancer staging which predicts prognosis and helps guide therapy. A Gleason score is given to prostate cancer based upon its microscopic appearance. Cancers with a higher Gleason score are more aggressive and have a worse prognosis. Pathological scores range from 2 through 10, with higher number indicating greater risks and higher mortality. A total score is calculated based on how cells look under a microscope, with the first half of the score based on the dominant or most common cell morphology, and the second half based off the non-dominant cell pattern with the highest grade. These two numbers are then combined to produce a total score for the cancer. Most often, a urologist or radiologist will remove a cylindrical sample of prostate tissue through the rectum, using hollow needles and biomedical scientists in a histology laboratory prepare microscope slides for HNE staining and immunohistochemistry for diagnosis by a pathologist. If the prostate is surgically removed, a pathologist will slice the prostate for a final examination. A pathologist microscopically examines the biopsy specimen for certain Gleason patterns. These Gleason patterns are associated with the following features. Specimens and Processing In the present form of the Gleason system, prostate cancer of Gleason patterns 1 and 2 are rarely seen. Gleason pattern 3 is by far the most common. After analyzing the tissue samples, the pathologist then assigns a grade to the observed patterns of the tumor specimen. Pattern 1, the cancerous prostate closely resembles normal prostate tissue. The glands are small, well-formed, and closely packed. This corresponds to a well-differentiated carcinoma. Pattern 2, the tissue still has well-formed glands, but they are larger and have more tissue between them, implying that the stroma has increased. This also corresponds to a moderately differentiated carcinoma, pattern 3, the tissue still has recognizable glands, but the cells are darker. At high magnification, some of these cells have left the glands and are beginning to invade the surrounding tissue or having an infiltrative pattern. This corresponds to a moderately differentiated carcinoma, pattern 4 the tissue has few recognizable glands. Many cells are invading the surrounding tissue in neoplastic clumps. This corresponds to a poorly differentiated carcinoma, pattern 5, the tissue does not have any OR only a few recognizable glands. There are often just sheets of cells throughout the surrounding tissue. This corresponds to an anaplastic carcinoma. The pathologist then sums the pattern number of the primary and secondary grades to obtain the final Gleason score. If only two patterns are seen, the first number of the score is that of the tumor's primary grade while the second number is that of the secondary grade, as described in the previous section. If three patterns are seen, the first number of the score would be the primary grade and the second number the pattern with the highest grade. For example, if the primary tumor grade was 2 and the secondary tumor grade was 3 but some cells were found to be grade 4, the Gleason score would be 2 plus 4 equals 6. This is a slight change from the pre-2005 Gleason system where the second number was the secondary grade. Gleason scores range from 2 to 10, with 2 representing the most well-differentiated tumors and 10 the least differentiated tumors. Gleason scores have often been categorized into groups that show similar biologic behavior, low-grade, intermediate-grade, 
moderate to poorly differentiated or high grade. More recently, an investigation of the Johns Hopkins Radical Prostatectomy Database led to the proposed reporting of Gleason grades and prognostic grade groups as, Gleason score less than or equal to 6, Gleason score 3 plus 4 equals 7 indicating the majority is pattern 3, Gleason score 4 plus 3 equals 7 where pattern 4 is dominant, Gleason score 4 plus 4 equals 8, Gleason scores 9 to 10. Prostate cancers with a Gleason score less than or equal to 6 usually have rather good prognosis. Gleason architectural pattern and Gleason grade are interchangeable terms. The Gleason grade slash score has two main points, one, based on architectural patterns, rather than cytological ones. The Gleason system separates architectural features into one of five histological patterns. These are in decreasing differentiation order but increasing in number, pattern 1 is the most differentiated and pattern 5 is the least differentiated. Primary grade, assigned to the dominant pattern of the tumor, secondary grade, assigned to the next most frequent pattern, tertiary grade, Increasingly, pathologists provide details of the tertiary component. This is where there is a small component of a third pattern. 2. The second feature of Gleason grading is that the grade is not based on the highest pattern within the tumor, instead it is a combination of the most often and second most often patterns seen. Gleason realized that prostatic carcinomas have multiple patterns and that the prognosis of prostatic carcinoma was split between the most prevalent and the second most prevalent neoplasm pattern. So using the Gleason system, the most prevalent and second most prevalent pattern, if at least 5% of the neoplasm, are added together equaling the overall Gleason score. If for example the most prevalent pattern slash grade is 2, and the second most prevalent is a 1, then the Gleason score is 2 plus 1 equals 3. If the neoplasm has only one pattern, the number of the pattern is doubled to obtain the score. For example a tumor is all pattern 1, the Gleason score would be 1 plus 1 equals 2. The most differentiated tumor will have, at highest, a Gleason score of 2, while the worst differentiated neoplasm will have a score of 10. So a Gleason score slash grade can only be between 2 and 10, there is number 0 or 1 by definition. Histologic Patterns The main way to tell the difference between a normal prostate gland and neoplastic glands is that prostatic glands normally have two cell layers in the glands, in adenocarcinoma the basal cell layer is lost so that you only have one top layer of cellular tissue usually ranging from columnar pseudostratified in appearance. Using this system the most well differentiated tumors have a Gleason score slash grade of 2, and the least differentiated tumors a score of 10. Range by definition is from 2 to 10 with architectural type being from 1 to 5 and always doubled or added together accordingly as described above. Gleason scores are often grouped based on similar behavior, grade 2 to 4 being well differentiated neoplasm, grade 5 to 6 intermediate grade neoplasm, grade 7 moderately, poorly differentiated grade neoplasm, grade 8 to 10 high grade neoplasm. Gleason pattern 1 is the most well differentiated tumor pattern. It is a well defined nodule of single slash separate, closely slash densely packed, back to back gland pattern that does not invade into adjacent healthy prostatic tissue. The glands are round to oval shaped and proportionally large, comparing them to Gleason pattern 3 tumors, and are approximately equal in size and shape to one another. Gleason 2 are fairly well circumscribed nodules of single, separate glands. However, 
the glands are looser in arrangement and not as uniform as in pattern 1. Minimal invasion by neoplastic glands into the surrounding healthy prostate tissue may be seen. Similar to Gleason 1, the glands are usually larger than those of Gleason 3 patterns, and are round to oval in shape. Thus the main difference between Gleason 1 and 2 is the density of packing of the glands seen and invasion is possible in Gleason 2, not in Gleason 1 by definition. Gleason 3 is a clearly infiltrative neoplasm, with extension into adjacent healthy prostate tissue. The glands alternate in size and shape, and are often long-slash-angular. They are usually small-slash-microglandular in comparison to Gleason 1 or 2 grades. However, some may be medium to large in size. The small glands of Gleason 3 in comparison to the small and poorly defined glands of pattern 4, are distinct glandular units. Mentally you could draw a circle around each of the glandular units in Gleason 3. Gleason pattern 4 glands are no longer single-slash-separated glands like those seen in pattern 1 to 3. They look fused together, difficult to distinguish with rare lumen formation vs Gleason 1 to 3 which usually all have open lumens within the glands, or they can be cribriform. Fused glands are chains, nests, or groups of glands that are no longer entirely separated by stroma. Fused glands contain occasional stroma giving the appearance of partial separation of the glands. Due to this partial separation, Fused glands sometimes have a scalloped appearance at their edges. Neoplasms have no glandular differentiation. It is composed of sheets, solid cords, or individual cells. You should not see round glands with luminal spaces that can be seen in the other types that resemble more the normal prostate gland appearance. Primary, secondary, and tertiary grades. Scores and Prognosis Gleason scores 2 to 4 are typically found in smaller tumors located in the transitional zone. These are typically found incidentally on surgery for benign prostatic hyperplasia. Comments Score Descriptions Gleason 1 Gleason 2 Gleason 3 the majority of treatable-slash-treated cancers are of Gleason scores 5 to 7 and are detected due to biopsy after abnormal digital rectal exam or prostate-specific antigen evaluation. A Gleason score of 7 can be 3 plus 4 equals 7, where the majority is pattern 3, or it can be 4 plus 3 equals 7 which pattern 4 dominates resulting in a more advanced cancer. The cancer is typically located in the peripheral zone usually the posterior portion, explaining the rationale of performing the digital rectal exam. Tumors with Gleason scores 8 to 10 tend to be advanced neoplasms that are unlikely to be cured. Although some evidence suggests that prostate cancers will become more aggressive over time, Gleason scores usually remain stable for a few years. The Gleason scores then become part of the TNM or Whitmore Jewett prostate cancer staging system to provide prognosis. Gleason 4 The Gleason scoring system takes its name from Donald Gleason, a pathologist at the Minneapolis Veterans Affairs Hospital, who developed it with colleagues at that facility in the 1960s. In 2005 the International Society of Urological Pathology altered the Gleason system, refining the criteria and changing the attribution of certain patterns. It has been shown that this modified Gleason score has higher performance than the original one, and is currently assumed standard in urological pathology. In this form, it remains an important tool. However, 
problematic aspects of the original Gleason grading system still characterize the 2005 revision. The predominant lowest score assigned is Gleason 3 plus 3 equals 6. Patients who are told their Gleason score is 6 out of May 10 interpret that they have a more aggressive intermediate cancer and experience greater anxiety. More importantly, some classification systems fail to clearly distinguish between Gleason 3 plus 4 equals 7 and Gleason 4 plus 3 equals 7, with the latter having a worse prognosis. Therefore, in 2014 an international multidisciplinary conference convened to revise the 2005 system. A five-point Gleason grade grouping similar to those such as PIRADS used with prostate MRI evaluations was proposed to denote prognostically distinct stratification. The number one would indicate the lowest risk cancer while five would indicate the most aggressive disease. The system was tested and validated against 20,000 prostatectomy specimens and at least 16,000 biopsy samples. The majority of conference participants concurred on the superiority of the scale over the 2005 Gleason grading system, pointing to the likelihood that overtreatment could be avoided for patients whose cancer was assigned a 1. The World Health Organization S2016 edition of Pathology and Genetics, Tumors of the Urinary System and Male Genital Organs has accepted the 2014 system which can be used in conjunction with the 2005 Gleason system. Gleason 5 Prognosis History